witness some musky magic with Captain Don Lucas. St. Lawrence County, the origin of New York Seaway Trail. Visitors to the St. Lawrence region can see the Seaway, one of the busiest commercial water routes in the world. The Eisenhower Lock allows tourists a close-up view of giant ocean-going ships. Prime musky waters. Yeah, you definitely got a musky on the right shore down there. Yeah, I saw it. Bob McGuire is filming Captain Don Lucas at the base of a giant hydroelectric dam. The St. Lawrence River, below the New York Power Authority's St. Lawrence FDR Power Project, offers perhaps the very best musky Ooh, fishing nice anywhere. Fish. One of the most important things I've found is a good sharp hook. Uh, muskies have a real bony jaw, and if you don't get that in there, they're going to shake it out. I've seen them come out of the water and they just thrash their head back and forth and they're gone. So uh, I spend a lot of time sharpening the hooks, make sure we get a good set. So what I do is I drag them across my fingernails. If, they, if I get a little scratch on my fingernail, they're sharp. You can take a uh, brand new right out of the box. Like that one there will slide. Is so what you got to do is get a good edge on that sharpen them down to a good point so that when they, you try to drag them across your fingernail, see that one won't, won't slide, it'll stick right into my finger, fingernail and it'll, you know, it'll scratch lines on it. These are Homer LeBlanc's uh, believer lures. Uh, they're called swim wizards if they're non-jointed. The uh, jointed ones are called believers. That's, uh, I have a lot of, lot of luck with these. They're, they're, they're a real good lure. Uh, dark colors, black are real good. Uh, Something with a fluorescent type orange or red and yellow that, that show up, they're real productive. Little leader up ahead here in case the fish comes on them forward, they don't slide down the line and cut you off. When we're down rigging, we don't use the leaders uh, primarily because the fish usually get them up from behind. When you're flatlining, you might be approaching the fish and they'll slide and bite off, so you got to have a good leader on there. I use 30 pound tests. And we're all set to go. Hopefully this will get us to the big guy. Joining McGuire on today's charter was Seaway Trail host Jan Seary and veteran fisherman Mark McEwen. By agreement, Jan would take the first fish, and it was a tougher fight than she had ever before experienced. It soon became apparent that the muskie had tangled itself up in a second line. Hooked solidly in the mouth, the violent thrashing of this muskie had wrapped a second line around its body. Dedicated to the preservation of muskies, Captain Lucas spent over 30 minutes nursing this small muskie back to life. Captain Don Lucas is a recipient of both the U.S. and Canadian Muskie Release Awards. The St. Lawrence River produced the world record 69-pound, 15-ounce muskie in 1957. We advocate the release of all muskies, even legal keepers over 44 inches long, in order to protect the naturally sustained muskie population on the St. Lawrence River.
Knowing that seagulls commonly kill disabled muskies, this sportsman displayed a genuine sensitivity, working carefully until the young monarch could be safely released. Turn a trophy 30 pound muskie is caught and released. Spectacular fishing, family outings, camping and hiking, marinas, beaches, lakes and streams, scenic splendor, city life, events and festivals. New York State's Seaway Trail has it all. If it wasn't the setting for your last vacation, why not make it your next? Deer Calling, pioneered by Bob McGuire, whose university research and documentary films prove to scientists and hunters that white-tailed deer actually have a complex vocabulary. Learn to call deer through this special offer. For a limited time, purchase a Bob McGuire Buck Grunt Deer Call and receive a 30-minute deer calling video free. Total price $19.97 plus $3 postage and handling. Visa and MasterCard orders call toll free 1 800 541 9169. Bullet Blade Baits, featured in Outdoor Life magazine and on Bob McGuire's Outdoor Journal. Here is a secret of the pros this deadly blade lure is larger in size, lighter in weight, has a high pitched, vibrant hook rattle, and a fantastic action. Swimming upward but fluttering downward with a perfect wounded minnow action. Available now at your local tackle shop or from outdoor outlets. We offer what we believe to be the purest and freshest scents available today. This is the best scent that we make. And it's uh, what I would use for mock scrape uh, applications, which is, of course, why we named it that. Synthetic in nature, these products have been stabilized through encapsulation technology. MasterCard or Visa orders call toll-free. Outdoor outlets, your source for exceptional outdoor values. We join Bob McGuire filming musky magician Captain Don Lucas near Messina, New York. Mark McEwen and Jan Seary are relaxing after Jan's first muskie. Oh, congratulations, Jan. I hope you enjoyed your first muskie on the Muskie Magic. That's what we refer to as a Muskie Magic experience. We had a good, successful release. Now we're going to head back out and get uh, the big one. Thank you, Don. I really... Yeah, that first well, one was uh, the way to start off the day is what That's you need right. that big one. That's right. They're yeah, out everything's there, set we'll up right them. now. Here, Wine. Good. Oh yeah. We're looking still pulling drag. Yeah, get the net. Hold it. Nope. It's not ready yet. It's taking another run. Well, they get right next to the boat and they head for the bottom. I guess. Yeah, I hope Bone just roll up and cut it off in his gill plate or something. Ooh, man. When he first came up there, holy cow, it makes your knees start knocking. Yeah, I guess you just feel like I started again. And bang, one right up the back. And look how far down we were compared to where we were this morning. We're a lot farther down. Okay, there he is. Got him. All right. Okay, give me some slack on your line. A dandy 30-pounder. This legal keeper would quickly be returned to the water. A single photograph, the real trophy, for a lasting memory.
something happens deep inside when a magnificent trophy is returned, a special warm satisfaction of the way it should be. An unforgettable day with special people. Memories will linger of a mid-afternoon walleye break, drifting through some favorite pools. One particular spot up there that's really hot. We've gotten some real nice walleye out of there. My biggest one out of that particular spot's 11 pounds. That's a decent walleye wherever you're fishing. Hey. There's one ready. I want you. Oh, yeah. It's fast, too. He just jumped. Yep. Oh, good jumper. Good jumper. Look at that little sucker jump. We're going to come up again. McGuire also fish, catching several smallmouth bass, all within minutes of the hottest musky fishing anywhere. There he goes. for a king, Delmonico steaks, grilled to perfection, along with jumbo shrimp and all the trimmings. A chance to relax on a five-star charter. A chance to witness the majestic Muscalunge in its home waters of Messina, New York. Female muskie grow faster and live longer than male. And the number of eggs produced by a female increases with her size. This means that most trophy muscalunge are very old, large females. Female muskies begin spawning when they're four to five years old, at which time they're approximately 34 to 38 inches in length. The females reach 44 inches in length when they're seven to eight years old but they are capable of living 30 years or more. If we wish to catch muscalunge in excess of 40 pounds in the future, we must learn to carefully release sublegal and legal-sized muskies. Through the dedicated efforts and shining examples of muskie sportsmen like Captain Don Lucas, the future of the muscalunge in the St. Lawrence River appears bright. Please return them all and preserve.